So, uh, last time I got a message from Altera headquarters telling me basically go back to the Aurora and get uh, plans for a rescue vehicle I'm supposed to build. And yeah. Also, I went I went searching a bit. I, I, went, I did some building. Let's start the game. And I got some quality of life mods. And and I built the base a bit more. Yeah, my base is strong. So these are my auto containers and my sorter. Put the trash can over here. Let's go outside. Also, you can see I have many more slots for my things. This is my. It's A energy generation room. This is another energy generation room. This one is. I have some lights here, moon pools, this is my bedroom, scanner room. I built another floor just to see where I can go. I also have an air tube to replenish the air. Let's get inside a bit. This is my private room, this is my aquarium. Yeah, it's also auto-saving, so I won't forget. My radio. Snack place. We got another bioreactor here. Fully charged. I put a lot more places to get electricity. So there's that. This is... I don't know what yet. I haven't thought about it. And we have a resource monitor for everything, which is also kind of neat. Is this bioreactor fully operational? No, it's ch charging. Okay, let's read some stuff. The repulsion cannon is a modification of the base propulsion cannon, which enhances its propulsion effect at the cost of ability to draw objects closer. It can be fabricated using a modification station and is commonly employed in self-defense and is a less than lethal firearm. Less than lethal. <coughs> That's nice. But I haven't got the modification station yet. I did get a stasis rifle. The stasis rifle, it's the one over here, uses a patented technology to slow time around the entity to as near to a full stop as the laws of physics will permit, essentially anchoring the tar target in place without affecting its internal workings. It is designed to facilitate scientific and engineering operations by expanding the window of opportunity for action in time-sensitive scenarios. The stasis rifle features an independent, replaceable power cell and the trigger may be held down to increase the area of effect. Oh! That's why. Okay. Common applications include slowing fast-moving mechanisms such as fan belts to facilitate maintenance operations, temporarily incapacitating organisms for research purposes, navigating parallel spaces by freezing potential threats, and B may not function correctly in larger life forms. The Altera Stasis Rifle. Life's fast. Why not put it on pause? Which reminds me, I should get enough batteries or just change out the sea glide right now what else is low on power the repair tool the scanner and the flashlight so let's do that scanner and flashlight The base builder is not very important. The cutter 
will survive. But now I need to wait over here. Now I need to put the batteries away and go grab fresh ones. I don't have fresh ones. I have some fresh ones. The rest, not so fresh. Can you make a few more? I need acid mushroom. A bit of it. Let's grab that. There should be some around here. Also, the fabricator now grabs things from around, so it'll be nicer. So I can just drop these here. They will get auto-sorted. And I can use them to build batteries. Also probably a good idea to pick up some copper on the way. How's my copper situation? Got two here. I could just go look though. I have two copper. Probably get more copper. Okay, all set up. I want the grab trap as well, and I need the radiation helmet. Put the grab trap on resources. Okay, that should be good. More stuff to read. Habitat installation, modification station, where the standard fabricator atomically rearranges raw materials to form complex devices, the mod station is able to combine complex devices to enhance their function. Most industrial vessels are fitted with a complement of equipment modification stations, which enables engineers to adapt the tools on the fly. To conserve hard drive space, the modification station is excluded by default for most personal emergency blueprint libraries. However, extreme environments such as ocean and desert-class planets may necessitate the adaptation of basic survival tools for unanticipated applications. For this reason, access to a mod station is always recommended. Yeah. Planters and pots. Interior planters come in a variety of configuration and allow for most plant species to be grown in small numbers for decorative or botanical use. The filtration system draws water. Yeah, I know that. Uh, so if I grab the nature box, if I grab some of this and this and this, can I plant them? in my planting sting. How do I plant? Okay, I don't know how to plant. Are you on? No, okay. Yeah. The water system is right, the air system is right out there. Okay. Drop them back in and let's get going. Gdush. That hurts.
That's the reef back. The sun is rising. No? And why is the water all clear all of a sudden? Wait, these guys usually have stuff I can use. As long as I watch out for tiger plants. Like that. That's a weed. Okay. No barnacles that I can see. There's one. Break. Barnacle. Silver. Is there another one? Okay. Oh, there's another one. Let's take the sea moth. Why do you always have tiger plants? Just want to break your barnacles. Okay, where's the ship? Okay, it's dark. That's the life pod. Can I go in from here? I think I can. Ampules. Ampules? Why is everything shaking? No, not ampules, just exposed electricity. What the hell? Why is everything shaking? Okay, let's do this. Whoever tries to eat me will get blasted away. Kinda takes a lot of power, doesn't it? Ah, I didn't bring... Uh, I forgot. I forgot the um, fire extinguishers. I have to have fire extinguishers. Damn it. Oh, 
but I can drop a beacon here so I know where I need to go. I didn't bring beacons. Great. Hell of a first run. Okay, that's kind of boring. I'll probably speed it up <laughs> in the video. Or I'll try. Can I do something about that? Special equipment. This isn't special equipment? Guess not. I don't know if this thing will go faster. <coughs> Gasopods. Okay, med kits and toss that in, toss those in. Probably need to get another battery. Fire extinguishers and at least one beacon. <coughs> Actually, leave the grab trap, I don't need it. Not this time. Okay. Now we're ready. And head generally northeast. North northeast. Actually, north east east. I really don't know how they did the water simulation, but it's gorgeous. Yeah, I didn't scan those. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Just let me scan it. Jelly ray?
jelly ray. Cool. What's that over there? Just waste? Seamoth. No. Why are you annoying? Oh, that was important. Tree leech. Indigenous life form. Tree mushroom. Indigenous life form. Bunny ray. No, spade fish. Cool. Salt. 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 Welcome aboard, Captain. Wait. Lithium. Copper. Bonk. Lead, lithium, silver, cyclops hull fragment. One third complete. Where is all the copper? Okay, that's enough. <clears throat> We're heading east. That could be copper. Copper. Is that another rack? Or just salvage? This is deep power transmitter. Cool. Wait, what are you? Unidentifiable. So what was that? Yeah, I can't get rid of it right now. Bridge blueprint, engine blueprint. All blueprints. Power transmitter. to exchange the range of a power source. What do you mean? Also, yeah, I should listen to that. I'm uh, not really a doctor. I know that's what my ID says, but I never have been. Cheated the medical exams. What does a doctor these days need to know about manually resetting bones? When was the last time a top surgeon actually cut someone open? That's what the robots are for. Doctors these days read diagnoses off of computer readouts. For that, I'm perfectly qualified. But what good is it when I'm not connected to the main network? I'm bleeding. I've got glowing green pustules growing on my hands. I run a self-scan and it tells me I've got skin irritation. The only thing I studied in medical school was how to lie convincingly. <laughs> what the hell do I know about how to treat an alien disease? I think I'm actually going to die down here. Awesome. Optimistic. Oops. Yeah, those sharks.
Yeah, that wasn't really important. And I'm stuck. <laughs> By the way, the other things. Two, six, seven, nine. Okay, behind the prawn bay, which the blueprint should be accessible. What do we know about geological data? Shale alcoves. Yeah, gold, lithium, and diamonds. I want a beacon over here. Altera Aurora entrance. Ah, beacon Aurora entrance. Yeah, leave it at blue. Didn't check here. We will live wires. Is that a thing? That is not a thing. Okay, who wants to, to fight me? I will get rid of you. God damn face huggers. Well, where is the live one? What? What? Where are you? That's what you get for trying to eat me. Nothing new here. This is locked, so to speak. Okay, bring it on. Release. Come here. Come here. What the hell are you? Right. 
Never mind. Yeah, let's pick up another one. That's a good idea. The ceiling is on fire. Always a good sign. Why is the voice cutting out? Yeah. That looks good. Integrating new PDA data. Can I turn this thing off? Was this the teleporter? Okay, what do you have to say? Need to tweak your equipment, please use the mod station in the forward section of retrieve pre-configured equipment. Door code is 6483. The data coil. So, 6843. What was it? 6483. 6. Four, eight, three. Boop, boop. I need, I need uh, oxygen. What do we have here? Large sample flask. Inventory full. Okay, dump the lead and the titanium. Useless glass container. So why did I pick it up? Particularly useless glass container. Microscope. No, I'm not gonna pick that up just for kicks. Wait, so what's interesting in this room? Data terminal. Data bank corruption was detected on your PDA. Your technology blueprints have been updated. Cool. Uh-huh. Okay, let's cut the door.
Let's wait a bit for it to cool down. Yay, batteries! What is this? Looks like power coils. Oh, black box data! Integrating new PDA data. Cool. <clears throat> okay, so everything is on fire. This is a huge mess. I can't go through here. This is L. Still upon it. Can I have it? I think those ponsets are on fire. Okay, uh, let's just check the water one last time. Nothing here, nothing here. That's electricity. That's a battery. That's not interesting. That's a door I need to repair. And it's still on fire. Let's finish up here. Living quarters. Okay, there's no point uh, clearing all these flames. There are two what look to be perfectly good suits here. I already have the black box data. That's a power cell. Hang on. Initiated slingshot maneuver around planet 4546b. High velocity energy pulse detected on planet's surface. Emergency distress signal sent to Altera. Listening buoy via long range calm delay. Great, now I get a radio. Impact detected. Life pod base and starboard side compromised. Outgoing communications compromised. Emergency evacuation initiated. Manual piloting transfer to Captain Hollister. Life pod 0, 1 to 25 launched successfully, entering planetary atmosphere, massive impact registered, drive core shield compromised, emergency bounce backs received from 8 life pods on planet surface. So we know 8 made it. Human license decade of a long range at T plus 8 hours 1. Personal unaccounted for non-essential systems maintenance chief Riley Robinson. Great. 
Altera HQ Rescue Solution received the T plus 8 hours to high priority terminal in captain's quarters. Monitor equipment failed at T plus 13 hours. What can we learn from the hive mind of Strader 6? Let's get back to that. That's destroyed. Looks like the ladders are all busted. Okay, so fire isn't cleared away or just cleared away? I don't think I can climb any of these ladders. One suit fragment. I got it. One suit fragment, two out of four. Three out of four. Can I get closer without being burned? Wants it. New blueprint acquired. Okay, let's try it like this. You over there. And I can't pull that. Never mind. That should be good enough. Okay, living quarters. Bar table. Because why not? Single wall shelf. New blueprint acquired. This is not cuttable. Hmm. Fire extinguisher. Today's menu. Okay, let's get out of the burning room and look at that. <clears throat> How are the individuals which make up a hive mind to be categorized? Are they merely dumb components of the larger intelligent organism, or is the larger mind merely a product of the independent organisms? Can it be both? We define organisms by their traits, but find invariably that these traits depend on those of their environment, the concept of a tadpole is meaningless without the concept of the frog it will develop into. The idea of a predator is empty without the understanding of its prey. This begs the question, if we define everything by reference to everything else, what have we actually explained? An illustrative experiment was recently performed on the hive mine colony discovered on Strait of Six. A device was placed outside the nest, which could electrocute individuals approaching it. An end colony would have lost many individuals before a basic danger signal was successfully communicated between them, resulting in learned avoidance of the device. Successful, but costly. The Strader 6 colony quickly formed into two factions. One attempted to move the device by brute force, sacrificing individuals as they did so. The second attempted to cover the device in sand. These two goals b being mutually exclusive, a fight ensued. The first faction was beaten in virtue of their reduced numbers. The device was safely buried and the survivors called a truce. 
From the perspective of the individuals, this experience must have been horrific. From the perspective of the hive mind, a nagging problem had been overcome with the most effective solution. Which perspective is the correct one? We suggest that it is neither. By attempting to fit such entities into a rigid set of concepts, we are painting onto the world a false impression of conc concreteness and meaning, which is a reflection of our concepts of ourselves. We describe straight of six as in individuals as attacking one another, just as we describe microbes in the human body. Yet a straighter colony, like the body, cannot be healthy as a whole without the aggressions of its components. Uh, I picked Freedom because I didn't want to handle water and, and food. I just wanted to explore and have fun. Uh, we describe neurons in the brain as being dumb, but brains as a whole as intelligent. But when an idea takes hold in the brain, and forces out inferior ones, do we describe this as an act of aggression? Do we mourn dead neurons? When, when a philosophy or a technology takes hold in human society, when wars are fought over them and people die, is that rightly seen as being good or evil? This is not to undermine the meaning of our existence. From where we stand, our existence is very serious indeed. But is our civilization and our universe really any different from the colony on Strider VI? Is intelligence something limited to things of flesh and blood? Or is the universe truly one giant intelligent system, and we but amoeba blowing self-important potholes in its surface? We would do well as scientists to remember that our goal is not to paint the world as we see it, but to see it as it truly is. If I will play this game again, I'll probably do it with survival, not freedom. But this I just wanted to have fun. Okay, it's a menu. I'm not going to read the menu. Bronze suit Mark III, the pressure reactive waterproof nano suit, <laughs> is a range of mechs designed to protect the pilot from extreme environments. The, mech th the Mark III is the latest iteration and has so far only been rolled out by Altera for their own high value phase gate related operations. The suit is fully insulated from the outside environment. Powerful hydraulic limbs allow for manipulation of objects and powered traversal of the environment. Rear-mounted thrusters provide maneuverability in low-gravity environments. A range of modifications are available to facilitate resource extraction and enhanced exploration. The prawn suit. It's got you covered. <laughs> Cute. So. Single wall shelf, for some reason, and a bar table. And... A prawn suit. Plasteel I got, aerogel I got, enamel glass, I need to find more diamonds. Let's save. Just in case. Filtered water, nutrient block. What if I move this thing? Damn it, stop wasting power. Useful, not crackable, that's just a desk. Let's go here first. Water EDA. Altera Arms Pamphlet. Charity is an okay concept when the realism of today's Alterans has rendered obsolete. We understand that we are each responsible for ourselves, but the best way to get the most for ourselves is to work together with Altera. The implication of this reasoning is clear. If someone is in need, they must find a way to be needed. Altera Arms is a training academy for those that need to be needed. We're not a charity, because we don't ask for handouts, we prefer to think of ourselves as philanthropic benef beneficence facilitation service, promoting synergy between employer and workforce. AA operates, an AA operates on the lottery system by investing any number of credits you will be entered into our prize draw. Large investment yield, higher chance of winning. Your credits will go towards training unskilled colonists in vital tasks such as maintenance and interpersonal skills. The colonists receive this training voluntarily and free of charge, on condition of a minimum contract with one of our investors on completion of the training. Overall, not bad, okay? Battery. Maybe I shouldn't have bought so many batteries. 
Open storage is empty. But battery is a battery. Single bed. Bench. New blueprint acquired. Natural selection poster. <laughs> This extinguisher. I can pick up the poster. I now have a poster. My inventory is full. Okay. Cabin five. Can I access cabin five? I don't think I can. Integrating new EDA data. Let's listen to it. Listen, I know I don't have the right to make demands of you, but I need you to understand that I want to change our arrangement. I hear what you're saying, and I will try to respect it. How would you like to change it? I would like to reduce our contact hours. How much further can we do that? To zero. You're dumping me. <laughs> I'm changing the terms of our relationship. How is it still a relationship if we don't see each other? It's a relationship of a kind. You have so many expectations. I feel you just want to spend more time with that dumb guy in his dumb robot suit. That's not a feeling. It's a judgment. And I feel hostility in what you're saying. Perhaps your jealousy is a sign that you need to take another look at your business model. Why can't you just be happy for me? I am happy for you. And I'm happy for all the guys in the prawn bay. I'm just not happy for me. This is why I want to change our arrangement. Oh boy. Okay. Other cabins. Prawn suit poster, land, I have the prawn suit poster, C. Hmm, very important to pick up posters. Uh, so many batteries. Drop the copper. Storage is empty. Storage is empty. Nutrient block. That looks dangerous. Can, can I fix that some way? Okay, that's the captain's quarters. That's cabin one. And what is cabin one? What do I have? Uh, not enough. Cargo still not paying me. Uh, cargo bay code fourteen fifty four. Captain's quarters two six seven nine. Nope. So what is cabin one? Cabin two is also locked. Oh, you have shells. You have an Aurora miniature.
I want it. Drop. Oh, Moon Wolf is following me. Thank you. Thank you for following. Uh, drop the silver, I think. Yay! Miniature of the Aurora. Thank you. No signal. Aurora poster. Must have Aurora poster. Uh, drop another silver. Okay, what does the data say? I have shelves. The Neptune launch platform. I can build that. I can do that. Uh, that's new. Tankers are often fabricated by maroon survivors seeking uh, to aid those who find themselves in the same predicament in the future or to leave evidence of their plight which may be found long after their bodies have disintegrated. Most emergency escape vehicles are equipped with a time capsule by default, usually found in the cockpit, and be jettisoned on takeoff. Altera requests the time capsule be stocked with tools and resources which will aid those who may discover them in the future. So it's something I leave behind for another playthrough after I'm done. The Neptune escape rocket. Let's not look at electricity. Uh, this blueprint set was developed at Altera headquarters specifically to get you off 4546B and back to the nearest phase gate. It takes into account local gravity, astronomical data, and available resources, and is piloted by AI. Uh, it may be adapted to employ whatever power source is available, but it will require a lot of it. It consists of five independently constructible elements. The launch platform, floating platform, provides a solid base from which to launch the rocket. The gantry provides structural support. Stage one, primary thrusters for reaching atmosphere escape velocity. Stage two is the fuel reserve. With stage three is the cockpit. Features one person life support, short range communications, adaptable power supply, orbital shielding, onboard time capsule. Warning, onboard AI will not launch if local threats are detected. The use of alien materials to power the craft may increase its range in unpredictable ways. Cool. Captain's log. Loading program Craig McGill Simulator. <laughs> One player, Captain Hot Dog Hollister. Map Boreal 9. Resources normal. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna. He's playing a VR game. Give it to me. Average long range transmission delay, eight hours. Opening us to report of transmissions. This is an emergency distress call. Aurora is on collision course with planet 4546B. Sending all available environmental data, please respond with rescue solution out. This is Altera HQ. Attached to this message, you should find the blueprints for an escape ship that we calculate will be capable of breaking orbit and getting you back to the nearest phase gate. Now, it's designed to use materials you can find in situ, but it's going to need one hell of a power source. Now, we'll be sure to... Aurora Long Range Communications Relay Offline. Uh-huh. So they already thought of it. They just didn't get the transmission in. This supposed to be upgrades. Okay. And down we go. Nothing here. How am I doing? 
Feel bad. Another battery. Another medkit. Integrating new PDA data. Rural auxiliary mission orders. Okay, let's do this one where I can breathe. Mission search and rescue. Target crew the Mongolian vessel Degasi. Last known position vicinity of planet 4546B. Ariadne Arm. Contact Mongolian emissary Yoki Kassar. Aurora passenger quarters. Mission brief. A Mongolian vessel, the Degasi, disappeared almost a decade ago, carrying with it a high ranking Mongolian chief. Corporate insurance has purchased passage aboard the Aurora for an emissary Kassar, and your orders are to make every reasonable effort to locate and retrieve the Degasi crew members without compromising the primary mission. Confirming the fate of the crew will aid Altera's diplomatic efforts with the Mongolian councils. Mission details. Aurora is due to perform a slingshot maneuver around 4546B, Category 3 Ocean Planet, approximately 13 months post-launch. This will bring the ship within range of the Degasi's last known position. Additional aquatic and all-terrain vehicles have been included in the Aurora's cargo package for this mission. The Degasi crew manifesto has been distributed to senior employees in a separate message. Hmm. Not all that truthful, huh? What was that extra battery? Never mind. Let's cut this thing. That's not the cutter. You? No? Okay. Um, where was that extra battery? Right there. So take the cutter, switch out the battery, drop the low energy one, pick up the new one, and we're good to go. I was here before. You guys remember this? Yeah. Let's see what else I can find. Drive room. Yeah, been there, fixed everything. Administration. No, Seamoth Bay. Seamoth fragment. Can't be just one seam. That's it for Seamoth Bay. Okay. Are the leeches still here? Yeah, this thing exploding all around. Can I have a forklift? No, I can't. I'll be trying to scan one. Nutrient block. Huh? 
Okay, good enough. Now, I can do this. squeeze okay also works never mind Stop being on fire. That's another fox, I'm sure. I think I dropped that one. Can you stop being on fire? No. Nope. Answer's no. Drop the empty one, pick up the new one, which is empty. Okay. Yeah, I think I've already been to administration too. The pawn land. I already got the data. Yeah, I think it's time to get out of here. No, isn't that better? Anyone else want a piece of me? Time to leave. Yeah. Okay, time to build a launch platform. I have to go soon, I'll probably just wrap this up and clear out. That's the Chelishon Cave. How am I doing on the map? Hmm. Need to check out these racks.
So where is it? This is it? This is a wreck. No fun. Let's mark these to check out. Hmm, huh, this kind of almost a pretty decent range. Okay. Okay, that didn't sound good. Yeah, this should be the right direction. There it is. Doesn't look like I've been here. Nuclear waste disposal. Biter, get away from me. Let's just salvage. That's a land shark. Ah ha ha ha! That was a very nasty bite. Nothing here. I think I'm done. What did I get? Use the disposal of nuclear waste. Don't even know how to build a nuclear plant yet. More to the right. There it is. I think I've already been here too. Light I got. Lots of sea glide. Yeah. Table call. I'll leave you guys alone. Let's go home.
Okay. Drop this and drop this and 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 all the batteries except three and all the fire extinguishers and I'm gonna keep those posters, I'm gonna put them in my room. How are you doing? No room in my room. Oh, this one's wide. The pawn suit Mark III, rising above the competition. Drive deep. Hmm. Let's deconstruct this window. And then put the poster. Yeah. Next phase of Altera Exploration. Uh -huh. Okay. I want to build a pawn suit. Alright, radio. Let's listen to the radio. This is live pod 7. Oh, great. Coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricator's bust. Requesting assistance. 7 out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Don't I have life pod seven? The stress signal has been received from line part 7, but the attached coordinates were corrupted. Last available photographic data has been downloaded and analyzed. Could report the problems with the onboard fabricator. Stunk to 200 meters in an area of low ecological activity. Transmission origin approximately 1 kilometer southwest of the Aurora Stern section. What is Stern exactly? Define Stern. Uh, the rear end. One kilometer southwest of the rear of the ship. Okay, I guess we're doing that first. Let me just check my vehicle bay. <coughs> Neptune escape rocket. I need more lead. And I need more lead and diamonds. Lead and diamonds. Okay. I can handle that. Lead and diamonds. Let's grab the grab trap. Set to resources. Give me the propulsion cannon anyway. Uh, set this to number three. Give me the bladder at number four. Set the grab trap to zero. Oh, and I need to put the miniature away. Why is there a boomerang swimming through my habitat?
cool. Uh, okay. Set the grab trap to creatures. And let's go grab us some boomerangs to feed the bioreactor. What was that flock? Bam. fish. Anything I don't already have? No. Wait. No, I have the blood of fish. It's hiding. There it is. You get the gary fish. You get the boomerangs. You can have the blood of fish. Okay. Set to resources. Lead and diamonds. Lead and diamonds. That was a crash fish. But there are reapers near the stern of the ship. Okay, find the pod, save, and quit. That's what I need to do. Yep, there they are. No, 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 let go. No, no, not my special one. Not my special one. Ah, it's almost dead. I'll take the other one. Poor Seamoth.
Gently. Gently. Oh. oh, damn it. That was close. The simpler one. All systems online. Not the jelly shroom cave. Okay, you said one kilometer southwest of the backside. South west. I have to get closer. If it's the two hundred meters this should do it. Yeah, that's the lack of the aura itself. Southwest. Ah, no, no! Damn you. Southwest, southwest, let's go. God damn it. Okay, we're doing it that way. Southwest, meaning the aurora should be northeast. Close enough.
And I need lead and diamonds. Le diamonds I can find in Shaylock. It's okay. Hi. Bioreactor. I already have a bioreactor. Southwest. Wait, that contains lead, right? Not this one. Okay, oxygen. Okay, close enough for land sharks. Do I pick that up? I stock. That's not useful. Landshark, okay. Not a radio, great. Found it. I believe. Down we go. Passing one hundred meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. Thermal plant. Cool. Uh, southwest. Oh, crap. What the hell are those? Anchor pod. I'm not gonna make it. Oxygen. Walking on it. Ah, uh, shit. Ah. <sighs> Maybe we should build a prawn suit first. Oh, uh, hi. So, lead and diamonds, huh? No diamonds? Not even lead?
Hello, everyone, Butu. Limestone, no. Sandstone, no. I need shale. Are there any reef packs? Yeah, there's one. And one over there. Okay. I'll need lead and diamonds. So I'll go get that and I'll start with the bronze suit next time. In the meantime, thank you for watching and bye bye.